Minglava. I am coming from Myanmar, the first and ever to AMA conference. Actually, I was supposed to arrive here early morning on 18, but as usual, my flight was canceled, so I missed that uh, opening ceremony. So anyway, I'm very happy to be here tonight. And okay. So not yet coming. Anyway, Myanmar has been known for formerly like a golden triangle land, and then later connected with brutally subjugated all movements by the military junta. Now you might know us uh, connected with Aung San Suu Kyi, something like that. Anyway, many things are uh, changing and now I'm coming here. So Myanmar as mission field, first of all, the population is uh, 55 million people groups, officially 135, and UPGs at least not less than 100 people groups. Among them, major groups are Mon, Rakhine, Shan, Burmese, etc. Religion, uh, Buddhist is the, ma the majority dominant religion, 85%, 87.5, and Islam, 3.5, enemies, 2%, Hindu, 1%, others not available, Chinese. Actually, Chinese people are increasing the number. If you come to Myanmar, uh, they are everywhere. So Christians, 5%. Actually, uh, OMF put it like 9%. But it is not really the case, I think. It is so good to be true, I think. Anyway, UPGs in Myanmar, Burmese, Burma, we called it 72%, 34 million believers, only 25,000. 0.07% among Burma peoples. Shan, 13% of the population. Rakhine, 6.54. Uh, Mon, 3.48. Uh, that is uh, the biggest, largest uh, unrich people groups in Myanmar. Christians and UPGs. The problem in Myanmar is Christians are minority ethnic groups living in the hill tribes and the UPGs are living in the plain areas, so they think us uh, like uh, second-class nationals, something like that. Minorities against majority, that is the problem within us. And social enmity and political mistrust. Buddhist, against, Buddhist worldview against tribal or Christian worldview, very different. And economic and cultural differences, very different. So there is uh, the hindrances we are going uh, to cross over. Christians in the Myanmar population, 2.5. Races, smaller ethnic, they are composed with 95% uh, smaller ethnic groups. Only altogether Myanmar, Burma, Shan, Rakhine, Mon are only five or something like that, are Chinese. Denominations, Baptist is the largest one, 72%. Uh, Assemblies of God, 12%. Catholics, we include Catholics to be uh, Christians in Myanmar. Catholics, 8%, others, 7%, independents, less than 1%. What I found out is uh, as uh, the political situation changed, independent churches are growing, growing. Uh, three important beasts in Myanmar, if you have to come to Myanmar. First beast is Burmese peoples, Burma peoples. Population, 72%. The, 34.6 million dominant and smartest people. So, with the longest history in our country. Uh, second B is Buddhism. You must know the Buddhism. Population, 87.5 of the whole population embrace uh, Buddhist. The very, the most fundamental and conservative Theravada Buddhism. Very strong Buddhism. And the third B is Baptist. <laughs> so, let us go to Myanmar Baptist Convention, population 1.8 million, 
So the whole population of Christians are 2.5, so it makes uh, 72% of the Christians. So churches are about uh, 5,000, over 5,000. They are, uh, uh, we have 115 associations, 18 conventions, and 13,000 ministers, uh, over 6,000 evangelists and missionaries, about 2,000 mission fields, 46 theological schools. Uh, I'd like to present my report on uh, four perspectives. One is biblical. Actually, you already touched uh, this sort of thing, so I, I may skip that. You'll be happy, I know that. Three ways to go. We emphasize our people's three ways to go by praying. So we set a day, a week, Beginning the second, the Monday of the second week of July, uh, through the second Sunday of July, uh, the whole 168 hours to be MBC prayer mobilization period. Every Baptist is requested uh, to pray for and uh, to fast and pray for the country, and uh, it is. Uh, MBC prayer mobilization by giving. Actually, uh, poverty is a reality with a very, and uh, not very much lot, uh, with a normal size membership. It can send as much as 137 missionaries to a very, very far flung regions like uh, the border areas of Thai and Myanmar, where uh, fighting is always happening. So it can set only one normal size church, 137 church. So what we need is uh, to mobilize our churches by witnessing. Go to the world, go to the world, uh, go to the world, our translator and our first missionary, our beloved missionary, Dr. Judson, very beautifully translated this, uh, this part, not into the, all the world, but Go ye into all the lives and walks. So that helps us very clearly. Uh, another important thing is uh, we need to go back to our Jerusalem because uh, we are practicing Baptist, uh, as Baptist uh, believers' baptism. So we had taken for granted that all Baptist believers are uh, already born again and no need of uh, sharing the gospel again so other people come in, into our churches and making a lot of troubles. So we need to go back to our churches. So Mission Church is blessed. Two church, Jerusalem Church, not very much missional, and their church, missional, and two seas, Galilee, flowing in and flowing out, and that sea just flowing in. So that's not the same. So they are very much uh, uh, helpful for our people's perspective too. Historically, four eras. Uh, Presumption area is uh, beginning from 1514. Uh, the last 2014, Catholics celebrated their uh, 500th anniversary of the arrival of uh, Catholic mission in Myanmar. So Pope Francis or Benedict, I don't know, maybe Pope Francis, Pope Francis granted uh, Myanmar uh, a cardinal office. We have a cardinal now. And then in 1806, 1806 British Baptist missions, Felix Carey is the very son of William Carey, but not very much successful. Actually, I give my report here in beginning from 59. You can see why they are not very much successful uh, to the time limit. We cannot go in detail. And just an era began in 1813. Why Judson? That is very important. Uh, actually, he is, uh, uh, as far as I know, he was once uh, an atheist. So he is the chosen, specially chosen vessel for the country where there is no room for uh, the living God. There is no room for uh, the living soul and spirit. He is very suited for that purpose. So when he came first, he was uh, actually congregational missionary. But as he reached to India, he was baptized by uh, Baptist missionaries, so he became uh, a Baptist uh, missionary. post Judson era began in 1850. When Judson was uh, raptured in, uh, how do I say, promoted, uh, promoted uh, 
74 churches he left behind. And beginning from there, 1865, Burma Baptist Missionary Society was formed. Now that name was changed, changed very, uh, very often time. Now it becomes uh, Myanmar Baptist Convention. And routing time is uh, since the time of our independence from British rule and between the very short time, 1962, smaller ethnic uh, groups uh, embrace Christianity very overwhelmingly. Freedom time comes uh, since 1962. Actually, this is the time to start the, the starting point of uh, getting our country in trouble. But it is uh, uh, military says the power in 1962. Uh, missionaries were all expelled since 1963 till 66. Myanmar became the uh, least developed country in the 1970s. Military seized power again in 1988, you know that. Uh, but interesting thing is uh, that very difficult time is coincident with the Myanmar uh, Baptist history with the Jubilee times. Like MBC's Myanmar Baptist Convention uh, 150 Jubilee came exactly in the next year of uh, military coup in 69. 1963, and then exactly the 175 Jubilee came in 1988, and then uh, 200th anniversary of the arrival of Christianity, it came in 2013, just two years after the government change. So, uh, any groups, Kachin, 1997, and something like that. Democratic like government we had in 2011, now democratic government in 2016. So everything shall change. So beyond bicentenary era, since 2014, bicentenary celebration was uh, two in 2000. Thank you. Uh, after our mission trust, uh, this, our mission trust will be to reach to. Uh, UPG's mission fields, uh, something like that. Our motto is missionary sending church when witnessing members. Perspective three is strategy, but uh, our time is not allowed that. Okay, uh, that's okay. Uh, perspective for globalization. Globalization brings some speedy and very forceful change to MBC. Uh, our faith and lifestyle are uh, very much changed. So, we need to, we put them in two categories for adaptation and for mission. Uh, we adapt some and we, we create some new mission for them. Re-emphasizing biblical values, urban mission, mission to migrants. We started International Baptist Mission Fellowship and Internet Mission. Conclusion and invitation, very important. Uh, Myanmar has been changing, changing now. Uh, it is still changing, changing. You cannot come as a missionary, but very soon you can come. So our new government is uh, purely uh, de uh, democratically elected. Uh, we have one Christian vice president. And out of 14 states, we have six state governors, Christians. Christians. And... At the lawmaking body, at the upper house and lower house, we have represents 13% Christian lawmakers. Actually, the Christian person is only five or six, much than two times of the population. So it is changing. Please send your email ID to mbcemmission at gmail.com. We will send what we are doing in Myanmar mission, mission possibilities in Myanmar. There are also challenges, but many, many, very many possibilities. Partnership policy and application form. I'll be very happy. And thank you very much. And the last but the most important thing, thank you very much to AMA, the president and the general secretary, inviting me and allowing me this uh, to present the national report. God bless you all. Thank you.